Everything you're looking at here is for free. This is not a joke. How can that be? Well, you're looking at Singapore's first sampling concept store. 20-year-olds Elfany Tan and Kingsley Pei founded the store because they wanted to make Singaporeans happy. I'm here with Elfany Tan, the founder of the store Freebie, and she's going to tell me why the store is called Freebie. It's because we wanted to do a business that actually will make Singaporeans happy. So we thought that, you know, in Singapore, by giving away free stuff, it will make Singaporeans happy. So we named ourselves Freebie. Describe the shop in one sentence. We are basically a shop that distributes free samples. And what can you find in the shop? A wide variety of items ranging from beauty products to health supplements and even potato chips. The store is basically Alphony's dream of running a business brought to life. And it did not come without hard work. People first heard about this idea. What did they think? Did they think it would take off or did they think it was a bad idea? Well, actually, from our friends, we didn't really consult them. It was like, eh, I thought of this idea and next day you know, I quit my job for this. So it's kind of like a sudden kind of thing. So we didn't really consult many people. But when we first started, when we approached those um, companies, they thought that we were... I mean, is this true? Because, you know, they, they, they don't believe that such a platform can actually be established in Singapore. But I managed to convince them. Yeah. Did you face many setbacks? From the start, definitely, because um, from the day that I quit my job for this, we actually spent two weeks to do up the site, and everything was start from scratch. And because we are not from any like business background, or we do not have any contacts in the FMCG industry, so everything was done from um, the basics, cold calling, and even for the websites, it's actually being programmed by ourselves. So everything is like done by ourselves. So these these are some of the difficulties. On top of that, um, actually some brand managers thought that we were doing some school project. They didn't know. They did, they didn't feel that this is actually. A business. They, they thought that, you know, so is this some, some kind of sponsorship for some school events or something like that. So I actually had to um, convince them, even without our sites up. I have to, you know, with just a proposal and income on hand, I actually have to convince them. So what exactly did you tell them that was so convincing? Well, I think this is some of the business strategy that I used because, um, first of all, I think the, the, the main thing is that there is no sampling platform in Singapore and there is no um, gateway for businesses to communicate effectively with consumers. I think this is one of the reasons why it actually you know, attracted them. I see. Okay, so why do you persevere you know, despite the many setbacks? Because I love what I'm doing. See, I'm actually working every day, but uh, I really love my job, so I don't find it as a chore and I actually treat this with something like my hobby. Yeah. Over a thousand people are expected within two days of the shop's opening. And as you can see, a queue of over 20 people has formed outside the store. And it's only been half an hour since the store opened. Why are you here? To try the free samples. Uh, to, to get the freebies. Free stuff. Yeah. To try out the new free freebies concept. Well, folks, it appears Elfany is right. Freebies do make Singaporeans happy. And if you want to know how to make money from freebies, be sure to check out the next clip.